Sunday at 9 p.m. Uh, we come up with this session where we discuss static GK and current affairs, uh, which will be important for uh, the exams like ZAT, CMAT, TISNET, etc. and all. So if I'm audible, just write in the comments, yes sir, you're audible, uh, so that we can start our session. Agar meri awaz aari hai, ab ek bar ligo, yes sir. Okay, so I'll be giving you questions in the live chat, uh, 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 I mean uh, in the questions and you are supposed to answer it in the live chat. So this is the first question which is in front of you and it says, who is the new president of Nepal? So recently uh, we have seen uh, a point or uh, actually a new president taking oath in uh, our neighboring country of Nepal. You should be knowing it. Your options are uh, Vidya Devi Bhandari, Push Kumar Dahal, KP Sharma Oli, Ram Chandra Podil. What is the right answer to this question? Please write it in the live chat. Uh, new president of Nepal. Uh, recently uh, this person has taken oath. So the right answer, I'm waiting for the answer. Jaldi jaldi answer ki if you know it. Uh, because uh, this is our neighbor. So you should be knowing it. The right answer is option D. Ram Chandra Podel is the right answer to this question. Uh, so 13th March 2023, ko, hardly 2-3 months back, uh, he took, took the charge as the president of Nepal. So you should be knowing it. The right answer is option D. Uh, before him actually Vidya Devi Bhandari was the president. Just have an idea. Okay. So D is the right answer to this question. Now there's a homework. Go and find out who is the Prime Minister of Nepal right now. This is the homework. Okay. Because these types of questions can be asked in the exam of course. And Nepal is our neighbor. So of course they can be asked. Okay. There's one more question. Can you please tell me what is the capital of Nepal? And what is the currency of Nepal? These two also you should be doing. So currency is the Nepali rupee we call it. Now. And uh, the capital is, uh, I think many people are aware of this, Kathmandu. Very famous place. So I hope you are aware of this. And uh, the right answer is option D is the right answer to this question. Okay. Uh, the next year, who among the following leader of USA visited Taiwan last year in September, September 2022, which was very much in the news actually. Your options are Joe Biden. Kamala Harris, Nancy Pelosi, Nikki Haley. What is the right answer? Yes, Nepal capital Kathmandu. Very good. Fabian Thomas Sonali, you all were right. Okay, good. Nepali rupee currency. Good. Huh? Yes, Akash, you all were right. They were actually kya tha? Ye badi news bani thi because yes, uh, because China has some issues with Taiwan. Okay. And that is why a very senior leader of USA actually visited Taiwan to uh, you can say uh, to send a signal to China. And it was very much in the news. Uh, the right answer is actually Nancy Pelosi. So she was actually Speaker of House of Representatives. Option C, yes, Akash is right. Speaker of House of Representatives. She visited Taiwan last year. Now you will be say, asking, sir, what is House of Representatives? So actually, uh, like we have an in Indian Parliament, two houses. Similarly, in USA, there are two houses. Okay. So House of Representatives is the lower house. Uh, you can say uh, it is actually equal to uh, Lok Sabha in India. Okay. The lower house in India is Lok Sabha. So just have an idea and she is the speaker of that at that time last year and she visited Taiwan. So she is the right answer to this question. You should be uh, knowing about it. So from USA actually here is USA and she came to Taiwan here which is near to China. Okay. So there's a long drawn history of having uh, China having issues with Taiwan. Uh, we are not going in detail. But just have an idea about that. Okay, uh, let's move on to the next one. The question number three, which says, Dhruv helicopter has been manufactured by DRDO, HAL, the Stan Aeronautics Limited, ISRO, Bhel. What is the right answer to this question? These are the basic things. DRDO means Defense Research Development Organization. HAL means Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. ISRO means Indian Space Research Organization. Bhel means Bharat Heavy Electronics Limited. Now you have to tell me uh, that group uh, helicopter has been manufactured by which organization. Uh, so actually the right answer is option D. So I have Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. Yes. Now if you have read little bit of English, you are aware of this fact that aeronautics, the word is related with aeroplane, jets, hawaii jahaz, case So basically, uh, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited is instrumental in manufacturing this Dhruv helicopter. Here it is. Yeah. 
in the same fashion, uh, you must have heard about Tejas. Aapne suna hai? Tejas flight. I mean, this has also been manufactured by HAL, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. So B is the right answer. Akash, Fabian, Thomas, Sonali, you are right. Kuch cheeze pata hoon cheeze. DRDO is famous for manufacturing missiles mostly. And missiles, when uh, COVID was locked out at time. So even it was manufacturing ventilators also. But generally, a DRDO is famous for making tanks, missiles, etc. like this. HAL is famous for making aeroplanes, helicopters, these other things. ISRO is famous for space technology. Like recently we have launched Chandrayaan 3, right? So this has been launched by, of course, uh, ISRO. Okay? okay, so these are the basic things. Uh, you must be knowing it because, of course, there can be questions from here. So B is the right answer to this question. Uh, the next is which high court is in news to use chat GPT in bail order? Okay, Madras High Court, Punjab and Haryana High Court, Bombay High Court, Patna High Court. So I hope you are aware of Chat GPT. Uh, now it is very much in the news. Now there is two questions for you. First, answer this question. Then there is another question. Can you please tell me which company uh, has manufactured it, which is uh, responsible for uh, actually making or chat uh, Chat GPT, making the Chat GPT? The second thing is what is the full form of GPT in Chat GPT? This has been asked in uh, exam, I think recently in testnet exam, this was asked. So again, they can ask it, repeat it again. So please tell me uh, which company has uh, made um, chat GPT or developed chat GPT and uh, what is the full form of GPT? I'm waiting for it. So the which high court is in the news to use chat GPT? So Punjab and Haryana high court is the first and you can see it here. Uh, this is a March article in a first Punjab and Haryana high court uses chat GPT to decide bail order. So the right answer to this question is B is the right answer. Okay, yes, very good. Uh, Fabian Thomas Akash, you are right. Uh, it has been manufactured by OpenAI. Now, we GPT ka full form. Hai. Yes, um, Naveen Chaudhary, you are also right. GPT ka full form is Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. Please remember it. Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. Okay. Uh, this actually has been uh, asked in, I think, recently in testnet exam, which happened actually uh, two, three months back. Okay. So just have an idea again, they can repeat it because chat GPT is now a new revolution. And I hope you are aware of this. Okay. Uh, the next one is EPFO Employee Provident Fund Organization comes under which ministry? Your options are Ministry of Finance, Ministry of Corporate Affairs, Ministry of Labor and Employment, Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation. Employee Provident Fund Organization, EPFO, is under which organization? Uh, I hope those who have uh, some basic background of, uh, I mean, uh, working in uh, corporate sector and government company, you should have idea of PF and all. Thoda bhoot to idea hoga. If your parents are in this sector, you should have some idea. So basically, uh, this is actually, uh, if you apply some logic, employee is here and employee is here. Okay. So apply the logic and read to the answer. So the right answer is, uh, yes, the right answer is option C. Ministry of Labor and Employment is the right answer to this question. Uh, actually, it's like news, I think government extends date to opt for higher EPF pension to June 26. Uh, that is why I have asked this question. Just have an idea about it. Okay. The next one is which committee was set up to draft a data protection bill uh, in 2018, I would say. It was very much in the news. Uh, that is why you should be knowing. Uh, recently, the government has come up recently with a new data protection bill. A lot of debates happen and all uh, in the newspaper and all and uh, in parliament. So data protection bill, you should have an idea. Uh, yes, Akash Sonali, you are right. Uh, so Justice BN Sri Krishna Commission was set up for this. Okay. Data protection bill. Ke liye. Okay. Achha, ek aur hai. This is important. Justice Rohini Commission. This is set up for sub-categorization of OBC. Isko Sub categorization of OBC. Ye kya hota hai? It's a homework point. Find out. Okay. Justice Rohini Commission is also important uh, because it is also in the current affairs. So they can ask. Here the right answer is option B. Justice B and Sri Krishna Commission. Yes, Akash, you all are right. B is the right answer. Okay. Uh, four key laws including Data Protection Act get President Asset. Look, abhi Baragas ki news hai. Okay. This is 12th August news. So the President Asset means President has signed it. Once it is passed by both the houses, that is Lok Sabha and Raj Sabha, uh, then the president signs it. And then after if it is notified in the gazette, then it will become a law. It will become an act. Okay. Data protection bill will become a data protection act. Okay. 
Prayer B is the right answer. The next, yes, upper line is to data protection bill and all. General data protection regulation is a data protection law in UK, European Union, USA, China. See, this is considered as in the entire world, this is considered as the most uh, strong data protection law. Yeah, people say like this, I mean, the, those who write editorials in the Hindu and Indian Express, they use, uh, they give the example of general uh, data protection regime. The most strong data protection regime or for data protection law, where? Can you tell me? Yes, uh, Fabian Thomas, uh, you have passed, uh, not very much correct. Okay, no problem, I'll tell you. The right answer is European Union, D is the right answer. Uh, earlier, European UK was part of European Union, but now it is out. Right? So, uh, the a, a would not be the correct answer then. So, B is the right answer. Yes, Naveen Chaudhary is right. European Union, which comprises of 27 members of Europe. And, uh, so, this is actually, uh, the, I mean, uh, what we call it as, uh, for them, there is a general GDPR, we call it as general data protection regime is there. Okay, uh, in European Union. So, B is the right answer. It's very important. Uh, the next is NESET is a parliament of which country? Uh, this is also important because uh, there is a reason why I am asking this. Japan, Russia, Ukraine, Israel. And this is a news. The parliament of this country is a news because of some reason. And that is why I am asking this question. Neset is the parliament of which country? Actually, this country has decided to come up with judicial overhaul. And a lot of massive protests have happened in this country because of it. Judicial overhaul means the critics are saying that the parliament has passed a law which will reduce the power of judiciary reduce the power of judiciary that is what the protesters are saying okay so the right answer to this question is option d israel is the right answer uh, just have an idea there's a, one more question please tell me what is the capital of israel what is the currency of israel and who is the prime minister Yes, uh, Akash and Kodi Das is right. D is the right answer to this question. Uh, so, Israel Prime Minister approves key part of Netanyahu's judicial overhaul as opposition exits chamber. Uh, so, uh, they chanted shame, shame and all. I hope you are aware. Uh, so, a lot of protests have happened. Doctor announces strike amid mass demonstration and all over judicial overhaul. Uh, then, in fact, a few months back, even the Israeli embassy got closed. Okay, in Delhi closes after labor union strike and all. So just have an idea that even so much protests have happened in the past uh, because of judicial overhaul uh, that, uh, I mean, uh, you should be knowing it. So Netanyahu, Mr. Netanyahu is actually the prime minister. So he's actually the prime minister, Benjamin Netanyahu. Benjamin Netanyahu. He is actually the prime minister of Israel. Okay, now, uh, so the capital of Israel is Jerusalem. And uh, currency is new shekel. Okay, Prime Minister have discussed. So the right answer here is D is the right answer to this question. Okay, uh, the next is question number nine. SCO Summit 2023 happened in Japan, Russia, India, Israel. This is also very important. Uh, I'll tell you why it is important. This is star market. Shanghai Cooperation Organization Summit happened where? Japan, Russia, India, Israel. The right answer is India. And we hosted it virtually actually, not offline. So just have an idea, since India was the host, uh, you should be knowing it, uh, C is the right answer to this question. This is SEO, Shanghai Cooperation Organization, and the headquarters in Beijing, China. So there are total eight members, sorry, nine members. Uh, can you please tell me the most recent one to join? Out of these nine members, one of them has joined very recently, the ninth member. Please tell me in the live chat, I'm waiting for it. Okay, sound is low. Is my sound low, guys? Virendra, uh, I think please in, uh, increase your uh, volume. I think uh, there is no voice issue. Other people, Baki logo voice issue or I guess? I think it's not. SEO's new member is Iran. The is right now mentioned. The ninth member is Iran. Okay, just have an idea. The ninth member, the latest one. Okay, so just have an idea. Uh, then, uh, EA News, I think government drops plan to host SEO Summit in Delhi will now be in virtual format. So, uh, actually, it happened online mode. So, just have an idea about it. Okay. So, the right answer is C is the right answer. Yes, Podidas, you are right. C is the right answer. Okay. Uh, yes, in a surprise move, India decides to host SEO meeting in virtual format. So, on 4th July. Okay. 
Uh, yes, before moving on, guys, this is a three day free time we are providing it on our Baidu's exam prep app. Uh, so uh, you can go for it, download our app, go to catch section and you will get this three day free trial. And uh, this is actually we are providing uh, uh, 80 plus mock test, 10,000 plus practice questions are there. Uh, and uh, this is our course, paid course, 300 plus engaging videos, 135 plus live session, 75 plus mock tests are there. And one more thing you should be knowing is we are running an all India open mock, which is very, 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 very important from 11th to 20th August. We are running it. So go for it. Register now. The link is given in the description from where you can register for this all India open mock. Please attempt it because that would be very beneficial for you in the upcoming exam. And on 20th August at 11 in the morning, we'll be having a workshop, live interactive workshop with uh, Srinivas sir. So just that, uh, I mean, you can register it with the link also given in the description or you can download our app by use exam prep app, go to catch section from where you can uh, watch it on 20th August. Okay, register it there. Okay, uh, let's move on to the next one. Who is the chief election commissioner of India? Your options are Sushil Chandra, Sunil Arora, Rajiv Kumar, none of the above. What is the right answer to this question? Chief election commissioner of India. What is the right answer? Batai. Is my voice clear guys? Okay, I think my voice is clear, right? Actually, there is a body called as Election Commission of India. And the head of that is called as Chief Election Commissioner, CEC. And who is the chief, current Chief Election Commissioner of India? The right answer is option C, Mr. Rajiv Kumar. So C is the right answer. Yes, Akash, you are right. Uh, so C is the right answer. Yeah, don't you just have an idea. Uh, the next one is how many seats are there in Karnataka Legislative Assembly? 210, 224, 274, 252. What is the right answer to this question? Yes, Akash, Naveen Chaudhary, you all were right. C is the right answer. How many seats are there in Karnataka Legislative Assembly? What is the right answer? Uh, why? Because recently, I mean, I think around March, April, elections happened. I hope you are aware in Karnataka. And uh, the chief, new chief minister is from Indian National Congress. Uh, is, uh, I mean, his name is Mr. K. Siddharamaya. Yes. So there are 224 seats in Karnataka Legislative Assembly. Is it the seat? Yes, Akash, Naveen, Podi Das, you are right. The right answer is here. Yeah, this is 224. So 224 seats are there. So in order to have government, you need to have and in 12 is half. So you need to have 113 MLAs. So if the government, if any party has 113 MLAs in Karnataka Legislative Assembly, the party will have its chief minister. So Congress is having 135 seats and that is why it is having the chief minister. Okay, yes, uh, Mr. K. Siddharamaya takes oath as the Karnataka CM on May 20. So that was in the news. He is uh, the Chief Minister of Karnataka. So just have an idea about it. Uh, let's move on to the next one. Right to health bill was passed by which state recently? Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Uttar Pradesh, Haryana. What is the right answer to this question? What is the right answer to this question? Uh, right to health bill actually have both protest be what after that and i have discussed it again and again you should be knowing it the right answer is option b rajasthan is the right answer to this question right to health bill was passed by the state of rajasthan so b is the right answer the next is the vivan sundaram recently died he was a artist journalist bureaucrat lawyer so what is the right uh, answer um, uh, akash was right for the das was right Vivan Sundaram died. He was actually an artist. Just have an idea. You can see the Hindu news, so I have discussed it. Okay, so the Hindu newspaper when it was discussed, so that is why I have asked it. Uh, the next is question 14. Section 377 of IPC was read down by Supreme Court in which case? Uh, your options are, uh, therefore, actually, this is related with decriminalization of homosexuality. Decriminalization of homosexuality okay so just have an idea about it now uh, so it was uh, read down by supreme court actually recently a person has filed a petition to legalize homosexual marriages that is why this old judgment of supreme court was very much in the news uh Navti singh johar case 2018 actually decriminalized homosexuality so b is the right answer to this question just have an idea about that okay yes now the next is which country has recently passed a bill which mentions death penalty for homosexuality. South Africa, Uganda, Netherlands, Rwanda. Uh, this also came in the Hindu newspaper uh, in the bold page. That is why I'm discussing it. So which state, which country has passed the bill mentions death penalty for homosexuality. 
What is the right answer? The right answer to this question is option B. Uganda, which is a country in Africa continent. Okay, so B is the right answer. Let me show you here. They go, uh, this is this is India. This is Africa continent. I hope you are aware. So, you can see Uganda. The capital is Kampala. Okay, so just have an idea about it. So, the right answer is B is the right answer. Yes, Akash, you are right. B is the right answer. Uh, the next one is Commerce Minister X unveiled new foreign trade policy 2023 on March 31st, March 2023. You are supposed to tell what is X here means I am asking the Commerce Minister of India. Your options are uh, Ms. Nirbara Sitaraman, Mr. Piyush Goel, Mr. Hadeep Singh Puri, Mr. Dharmendra Pradhan. What is the right answer to this question? Tell me. This is a basic thing. You should know this. Okay. Okay. So the right answer is Mr. Piyush Goel. So B is the right answer. He is actually the Commerce Minister. Uh, she is actually the fi uh, Finance Minister of India. Na. Okay. So B is the right answer. Yes, Akash. Yes. B is the right answer. Uh, who is the new Vice Chief of Navy? Karamveer Singh, Mr. Karamveer Singh, Mr. Sanjay Jasjit Singh, Mr. R. Hari Kumar, none of the above. What is the right answer? So, new Vice Chief of Navy is Mr. Sanjay Jasjit Singh and he is the uh, Navy Chief. Or this question I tha, I think this question was asked somewhere, maybe in, I think in TISNET exam this question was asked. TISNET yes, CMAT me this question was Navy Chief, okay? The new vice chief of navy is Mr. Sanjay Jasjit Singh. So B is the right answer. Yes, Akash, very good. B is the right answer. So vice admiral Sanjay Jasjit Singh uh, assumes charge as uh, vice chief of naval staff. Just have an idea about it. Okay. Yes. Uh, B is the right answer. Uh, the next is uh, yes, it was also very much in the news. A famous yesteryear cricketer. Yesteryear means the pehle zamane ke, purane zamane ke, 20, 30, 40 years back. A famous yesteryear cricketer passed away yesterday. His, uh, I mean, uh, yesterday ni likhte, recently likhte. I mean, two three months back, I would say. Uh, his name is Mansoor Ali Khan Patodi, Salim Durani, Dilip Sardesai, none of the above. What is the right answer to this question? What are you Very famous cricketer. So, the right answer to this question actually is uh, the right answer is option B. Salim Durani, his name was. So, B is the right answer. Just have an idea about it. Uh, uh, there was a time when he was very famous. Okay. So, B is the right answer. Yes, for the rest, you are right. B is the right answer to this question. Uh, Mansoor Ali Khan Patadi died, I think, more than 10 years back. He was father of Saif Ali Khan and he was also a very famous cricketer. Fair. So, the right answer is B. All three are actually uh, cricketers who were cricketers, I mean, old cricketers, I mean, 30, 40 years back. You know? So, here the right answer is B is the right answer. Okay. Uh, yes, you can uh, go and read something about it. Salim Aziz Duran. He was born in Afghanistan, Khyber Pass and all. And he died in Jamnagar, Gujarat. So, just have an idea on 2nd April this year. Uh, this can be asked in exam because, of course, uh, I think the recent one and all. So, push that. Okay. Okay. The next is XBB.1.16 uh, XBB was in the new. It is what? Influenza, COVID variant, COVID 19 booster shot, new Ebola type virus. What is the right answer to this question? Bata ye. Okay, uh, the right answer actually to this question is COVID-19 variant in May ke time for both same, I mean, around April, May it was actually rising slightly. So, type of news mein chal tha. So, B is the right answer to this question. It's the COVID variant. Uh, the next is uh, under Pradhan Mantri TB Mukt Bharat Abhiyan, the target to eliminate TB is by which year? TB Mukt is, uh, uh, let me translate it in English. TB is a disease called as tuberculosis, uh, which is a disease which affects the lungs. TB Mukt, when I use the word TB Mukt means elimination. Mukt is a Hindi word which means uh, removal, complete elimination. So, there is a target to completely eliminate the disease TB in the country by 2025. This is the target. So, A is the right answer to this question. Ha, is the B answer tha? Yes, for the das, you were right. So, uh, actually, the target to eliminate tuberculosis is by 2025. So, A is the right answer to this question. Uh, the next is, which of the following portal has been launched to track the TB cases in India? Jaldud, e Nikshit, e Samadhan, Srijan portal. TB cases actually kya hota hai? Ki whenever any uh, TB case is registered, it is actually uploaded that, okay, so these are the number of cases being registered, I mean, uh, through online mode and all. Okay? Yes. Is a palega 2025 A was the right answer. For the last for the right, huh? So, ek app hai, isko kata e Nikshit app. Uh, B is the right answer. Ye to hoga ni, Jaldud, it is related with water. So, this cannot be at least the answer. 
at least you can eliminate some of the option with the logic also here the right answer is e nixie app is there e nixie portal is also there so b is the right answer to this question uh, the next is f s s a i food safety and standard authority of india is under which ministry so we keep our news where that this actually certifies the food quality and i hope you are aware of this ministry of health and family welfare ministry of food processing consumer affairs food and public distribution ministry of commerce what is the right answer to this question f s s a i is under which ministry bataiye okay so the right answer is actually dekho yahan bhi food likha hai yahan bhi food likha hai actually ye health ministry ke andar mein theek hai ministry of health and family welfare because it is related with food safety and quality of food and all so dekho actually kya hota hai uh, uh, ye aapne dekha hoga sirf biscuit wagara ke packet pe hota hai fssai likha hua theek hai uh, actually ye sab jaise news mein tha fssai approved lab finds maggi noodles safe jis tarah ki news aa rahi thi theek hai mali ye zamane mein aayi thi ye purani news hai lekin hum example se bata rahe hain आपने देखा होगा यू मस्ट हैव सीन इन बिस्किट्स या बहुत जगह पैकेट्स वगैरह होता है ना उसमें चिप्स का बिस्किट का पैकेट एफएस से आई अप्रूव्ड तरह लिखा रहता है है ना सो द राइट आंसर इज ए इज द राइट आंसर फॉर दी दास राइट द नेक्स्ट इज व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग रिलेटेड विद एंटी डिफेक्शन लॉ देखो ये क्यों इंपॉर्टेंट है देयर इज अ थिंग कॉल्ड एज डिफेक्शन डिफेक्शन मींस लेट्स से देयर इज अ पर्सन हु फॉट देयर इज अ पार्टी कॉल्ड एज एक्स पार्टी ओके अ पर्सन फॉट इलेक्शन विद एक्स पार्टी एंड वंस ही बिकम एमएलए और एमपी Once he become MLA or MP, then he switches the party, changes the party. This is called as defection. Uh, it is considered as ethically not very good uh, that you are changing the party because uh, once you have been elected. So uh, the law was brought uh, to prohibit this. That if a person changes the party, he or she will lose the uh, mem- uh, the seat or the uh, MLA or MP ship. Okay, so he or she will lose the MP ship. Okay, so the right answer here is option B, fifty second constitutional amendment is the right answer to this question. Okay, is there any voice issue, guys? Because other people have not complained. Yes, fifty second amendment, very good for the last tenth schedule was brought. Fifty second amendment, nineteen eighty five, during the time of Rajiv Gandhi. So B is the right answer to this question. Just have an idea about it. Yes, Navin Chaudhary, Akansha, Kashyap, you are the right. B is the right answer. Okay. Uh, the next is Dash is a scheme for providing affordable working capital loan to street vendors. So when the COVID-19 lockdown happened, a scheme was initiated to give loans to street vendors. Street vendors, समझते हो जो सब्जी वगैरह बेचते हैं रोड पर और नॉल्ड. Okay. So what is the name of the scheme? PM Poshan Ayushman Bharat PM Swanidhi Swamitva scheme. What is the right answer to this question? बताइए. Okay. So some of the uh, things you are aware that the uh, Ayushman Bharat is related with health insurance. Okay, sir, you will know. It's a very famous government of India scheme. PM Poshan nutrition is related. I made the meals are related. PM Swanidhi is the right answer to this question. Okay. Okay. So uh, just have an idea. C is the right answer. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. What is the motto of CBI? Central Bureau of Investigation. It comes in the news. Yes, Navin Chaudhary, you were right. C is the right answer. Huh? सीबीआई का मोटो क्या है दीज आर ऑप्शन टच द ग्लोरी विद स्काई यथो धर्मस्थ जया इंडस्ट्री इम्पार्शलिटी इंटीग्रिटी नन ऑफ द अब वॉट इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन बताइए क्या सही जवाब है ओके देखो टच द ग्लोरी विद स्काई दिस इज एक्चुअली इंडियन एयरफोर्स मोटो यथो धर्मस्थ तो जया इसका मतलब होता है वेर देर इज राइटनेस देर इज विक्ट्री है ना वेर देर इज राइटनेस देर इज विक्ट्री ये सब अच्छा कोट है आप कई कोट भी कर सकते हो एंड आई थिंक इट हैज बीन टेकन फ्रॉम भगवत गीता ओके दीज आर वेरी गुड कोट्स यू कैन कोट इट समवेयर आल्सो एंड दिस इज एक्चुअली अ मोटो ऑफ सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑफ इंडिया शायद आपको पता हो सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑफ इंडिया का मोटो है और सीबीआई का मोटो जो ऑप्शन सी है इंडस्ट्री इंपार्शियलिटी एंड इंटीग्रिटी ओके यस ठीक है याद रहेगा सो हियर द राइट आंसर इज सी B नहीं है B जो आंसर है वो सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑफ इंडिया का मोटो है यथो धर्मस्तो जया वेद देर इज राइट एसनेस देर इज विक्ट्री यानी जहां सच्चाई होगी वहां जीत होगी ठीक है तो वो B है यहां राइट आंसर होगा C आई एम आस्किंग व्हाट सी बी आई सो सी इज द राइट आंसर द नेक्स्ट वन यस आप देख सकते हो है ना उसके ये है उद्यमिता निष्पक्षता एंड सत्यनिष्ठा ठीक है 
just have an idea okay uh, the next is uh, you were actually important is i'm skipping it uh, because uh, this is slightly old news so 2017 me was a doklam standoff i hope you are aware of it when chinese people's liberation army constructed road in doklam and also 2017 me uh, was this is slightly old news to chance ka make news uh, question hai. okay the next is lokpal bill ye bhi um, uh, old hai lekin ye kai bar news mein aata rehta hai it was passed in the year uh, agar aap, if you remember it, there was a, a movement, Anna Hazare movement. You remember that? Uh, which actually happened in uh, 2011, I guess. Uh, uh, what we call it as India Against Corruption Movement. Uh, Anna Hazare movement and all. So they demanded Lokpal bill should be passed and all. And somebody is asking, sir, how is industry related to CBI? We are the saying, nice question. Industry here uh, means, industry, industry here means hard work. So if you are preparing for CAT, your English should be very good, okay? And if there is one meaning of industry is hard work, okay? So here is hard work ke sense, mein. okay? So just have an idea. Fair. Okay, uh, so Lokpal bill was passed in the year uh, in 2013. So A is the right answer to this question. And who is the chairman of Lokpal currently? So uh, Justice Pradeep Kumar Mohanty. Okay, so just have an idea about it. So, another movement is the relation hai and all. And aapko yaad hoga shayad if you are aware of it. So, uh, all uh, these leaders like uh, Mr. Kejriwal, Anna Hazare, uh, uh, Manish Sisodia, they became famous from that na, watershed moment and all. Yes. Okay, the next one is which of the following is the latest country to join NATO? North Macedonia, Sweden, Ukraine, Finland. Very important. NATO stands for North Atlantic Treaty Organization. Okay, North Atlantic Treaty Organization ko recently kisne joined kiya See, uh, NATO is a military alliance, you can say. Uh, US-led military alliance, you can say. Or Western countries-led military alliance. And the latest country to join it is actually the country of Finland. So, D is the right answer to this question. Uh, just have an idea. Dekha deta hu pe. Here is India. This is Russia. Yaan pe Finland. Okay. okay. Uh, there is a reason about that reason pe nahi ja raha aapko nahi jana bas fact yaad rakhna so you should know, not go and read the reason yes navi chaudhary khodi das you all are right this is the right answer to this question finland is the right answer the next one is yes on finland journey to join nato ye bhi april mein news mein tha so you should be knowing it uh, now the question is how many members are there in nato after joining of finland 31 39 27 37 ab nato mein kitne member bache hain now there is a question please go and find out where is the headquarter of nato and NATO was formed as a result of Washington Treaty. Washington Treaty. Okay. So total there are 31. So A is the right answer to this question. 31 members. The headquarter of NATO is actually in Belgium. Belgium ki capital hai Brussels. Um, here you will find the headquarter of both European Union as well as NATO. Okay. So the right answer is A is the right answer. Yes, Khodidas, you are right. A is the right answer. Huh? Huh, happiness index means of rank 1 wagara rata generally. Top 1, 2, 3 rata. Yes, you are right. Huh? Uh, yes, member countries 29 European and 2 North American and 31 countries total. Okay, uh, the next is Pegasus is a spyware developed by NSO group which is from which is a company from US, Israel, China, Japan. What is the right answer to this question? Huh, NATO headquarter Belgium hai. Khodidas, you are right. Huh? Now tell me that Pegasus has developed a spyware in NSO group, ne, which is a company from where? US, Israel, China and Japan. Yes, Israel was in news mein tha ek time par, uh, one or two years back. So B is the right answer. Yes, we are in there saying you all are right. Uh, um, Pegasus and all. Uh, so uh, Supreme Court set up a committee in this regard also. Uh, uh, just have an idea, na? so this is why committee was set up under Justice R.V. Ravindran Committee. Justice R.V. Ravindran Committee was set up. Okay, so just have an idea about it. Okay, yes. Uh, the next is who was the founder of Indian National Congress? This is a history question. I have to tell you. A.O. Hume, W.C. Banerjee, Dada Bhai Narajee, Mahatma Gandhi. What is the right answer? Indian National Congress ke founder ka apko naam batana hai. It's very important. That is why you should be knowing it. It was established in December 1885. 
the right answer is Alan Octavian Hume. So A is the right answer to this question. Just have an idea. Uh, the next is who was the first president of Indian National Congress? A. O. Hume, W. C. Banerjee, Dada Bhai Narodi, Mahatma Gandhi. First president of Indian National Congress. So founder, so they were founder just now. A. O. Hume, they. Have you heard about it? Okay. But if first president is asked, the answer is W. C. Banerjee, Bhomesh Chandra Banerjee, his name was. Bhomesh Chandra Banerjee. Okay, he was the first president of Indian National Congress. In uh, when the some meeting happened in December 1885. Okay, so just have an idea. The right answer is B. Yes, Akash, very good. W C Banerjee is the right answer to this question. Okay, so this is all about today's class. Please subscribe to our channel, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Telegram, and download the Baidu's Exam Prep app. Uh, I'll be meeting you on uh, next Sunday at 9 p.m. So till then, uh, bye bye. Good night. Thanks for watching. सबको लाइक बटन प्रेस करते जाना. Everyone, please press the like button and share this video with your friends. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.